Hello, welcome back to the Mathematics Online class. In this uh, special video, I am going to show you a very important question. That uh, type of question or frequently asked in the exam. Question says that I find a least number that must be subtracted from the given number so to get a perfect square and also find the square root of the number so obtained. So here it means when we are going to subtract something from the given number, it means given number is not a perfect square. That's why we are subtracting something. Or the question may be find the least number that must be added. In case of addition, it means given number is not a perfect square. That is why here add, add, some number is required to add. So let's see how to do this question. A very important question. Question I will repeat find the least number that must be subtracted. In, uh, before doing this question, we will take one small example. Uh, let's take, uh, take an example of 11. Let's take an, an example of 11. Somebody asks you, is 11 a perfect square? No. Why? Because, see, 3 threes are 9. What is the remainder? Whenever remainder remains there, whenever remainder comes something, it means given number is not a perfect square. So what is the remainder here? 2 is the remainder. It means this 2 must be subtracted from the given number. Then it will be a perfect square. Means 11 minus 2, that is 9. 9 is a perfect square. Yes. So what number must be subtracted here? 2 must be subtracted. Similarly, our question is this. Question is saying that what is the least number that must be subtracted from this given number? So as to get a perfect so, okay, so what is the procedure what is the method division method apply division method see you know the procedure draw bar on these two draw bar on these two okay or you can say arrow now you know if you take seven here we have to take seven there if you take eight here you take eight there why because method says you always take same numbers but which number we have to take let's take seven why not eight 8, 8 are 64, 64 is greater than 56, that's why I took 7 here, 7 7 are 49, 6, 16 minus 9, that is 7, and bring this here down, okay, now what is the next step, double the quotient, this is quotient here, 7 is quotient, double it, double means 7 plus and that is 4, and leave a space, and I call this, have a seat, please, okay, now what number must be written here, for example, I will write, for example, 5, then we have to multiply with the same number, 5 plus the 25, 2 goes carry, 5 for the 20, 20, 22, 7 to 5, but that's great, it means 4 are, we have to write down 4 are, and this is 4 for the 16, 4 for the 16, 4 for that is 5, 7, 6, so 4 are. Now tell me. 144 multiplied by 4 it is how much 5 7 6 it means 7 minus 6 that is 1 10 minus 7 that is 3 and it is here 6 6 by 5 that is 1 it is 131 is extra because remainder comes out 131 it means this number must be subtracted from the given number and what number we will get that is a perfect square therefore 5 7 0 uh, so first of all, as for the question, find the least number. So this is the least number. You will write, therefore, 131 is the least number. That must be subtracted from the given number. But further question says, also find the square root of the number so obtained. So obtained means what is the square root of the number so obtained? Means after subtracting, means 5607 uh, minus 131. It is 7 minus 1, that is 6. Uh, that is 6. 10 minus 3 that is 7, 5 minus 1 that is 4 and 5 as it is. Now question says what is square root of this number? So square root of therefore square root of 5, 4, 7, 6. It is how much? It is always this. No need to find out. It is always this question. I hope you got it. Thank you and have a good day.